so hey youtube family welcome back to the video i hope you guys are doing extremely well so friends in this video i will discuss 20 most important frequently asked mcqs of unit number one which is exposure to html of subject code three to six so without wasting any time let's proceed with the first question uh, but one thing i want to mention here that if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet so please make sure to subscribe the channel and also do not forget to share this video in your class group and your friends also so the first question is uh, what is the purpose of title element in an html document option is option number a it defines the main heading of the page option number b it specifies the character encoding of the document option number c it sets the title of the web page displayed in the browser's title bar and last option is it defines the background color of the page so the correct option of this question is option number c which is it sets the title of the web page displayed in the browser's title bar okay let's come to the second number question second number question is which html element is used to define the structure of the html document option is body tag header tag html tag or footer tag and the correct option of this question is option number c which is html tag okay next question in html where should the meta element with the character attribute uh, sorry car set attribute be placed option is inside the body element inside the head element inside the title element or inside the footer element and the correct option of this question is option number b which is inside the head element next question what does the body element represent in a html document option is option number a the main content of the document option number b the page metadata c the title of the document and d option is the document's header and the correct option is option number a which is the main content of the document let's come to the next question which html element is used to create a horizontal line hr tag br tag or line tag or h rule tag and the correct option is option number a which is hr tag next question what is the purpose of the br tag element in uh, sorry br element in html option is to insert a horizontal line option number b to create a new paragraph option number c to insert a line break and last option is option uh, last option is to define a list and the correct option is option number c which is to insert a line break okay next question next question is which html tag is used to create a paragraph option is par tag text tag p tag or a line tag and the correct option of this question is option number c which is p tag next question which html tag is used to create a citation oh citation or reference to a source option number a site option number b quota option number c ref option number d source and the correct option is option number a which is site tag next question uh, before pro uh, proceeding to the next question one thing i also uh, um, uh, i want to mention here that all these questions are important according to your upcoming examination point of view do not skip these questions and i can guarantee you that 10 to 12 questions will be as it is in your paper so do not skip any one of the questions okay and also do not forget to subscribe the channel and like the video please ninth number question what is the purpose of q element in html option is to create a quotation option number b to define a quick link option number c to mark text as a comment and option number d to create a definition and the correct option is option number a which is to create a quotation next question is which HTML tag is used to define a definition in a document? Option number A, define. Option number B, D tag. Option number C, DFN tag. And option number D, DESC tag. 
So the correct option is option number C, which is DFN tag. Okay. Next question is in HTML, what is the purpose of this syntax? Option number A to create a definition. Option number B to insert a horizontal line. Option number C to add a comment that is not visible to the user. And last option is to define a quota. And the correct option is option number C, which is to add a comment that is not visible to the user. Next question. Which of the following is an example of inline element in HTML? Uh, option number A, div tag. Option number B, h1 tag. Option number C, span tag. And last option is p tag. Okay. And the correct option is option number C, which is span tag. Okay. Next question is, which HTML tag is used to create an unordered list? OL, LI, UL or DL? And the correct option is option number C, which is UL tag. Okay. UL element. Next question is, which tag is used to define a hyperlink in HTML? Option is link, href, A or hyperlink. And the correct option is option number C, which is A. Okay. Uh, it is also called a anchor tag. Okay. Next question is, what is the role of a script tag in HTML? Option number A, to define a style for an element. Option number B, to embed or reference external JavaScript code. Option number C, to create a text link. And the last option is, to define a block level element. Correct option of this question is option number B, which is to embed it a or reference external javascript code 16th number question which tag is used to define the root element of an html document option number a body option number b root option number c html and last option is meta tag and the correct option of this question is option number c which is html tag okay next question what is the purpose of em tag in html and it's a very simple question, you know, uh, I think uh, you already know the answer of this question. If you know the answer, please do not forget to comment your answer. And the option is to define an external link. Option will be to emphasize text typically displayed in italics. Option number C, to create a line break. And last option is to insert an image. And the correct option of this question is option number B, which is to emphasize text typically displayed in italics. Next question is, which HTML tag is used to create an ordered list? Option is list, UL, OL or LI. And the correct option of this question is option number C, which is OL tag. Okay. As the name clear, OL means ordered list. Okay. And if the question arises that unordered list, then the correct option is option number B, which is UL. Okay. Let's come to the next question, which is the second last question of this age. What does the head element in an HTML document primarily contain? Option is main content of the web page. Next option is metadata, uh, metadata and document information. And second last option is navigation links. And last option is photo content. And the current uh, correct option of this question is option number B, which is metadata and document information. Okay. And the last question of this entire session is what is the purpose of HTML meta tag with the viewport attribute? Option number A, it defines the page character encoding. Option number B, it specifies the author of the web page. Option number C, it configures the display and behavior of the web page on mobile device. And option number D is it create a hyperlink to an external website. And the correct option of this question is option number C, which is it configures the display and behavior of the web page on mobile device. So this was the last question. Thank you so much for watching the videos. If you guys have enjoyed watching the videos, do not forget to like, like the videos and also do not forget to subscribe the videos and share these videos to your class group and your friends also. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye guys.